Hey, what is going on guys? Joltz here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to farm a lot of stuff early game, and we're talking about SDUs, money, XP, uh, challenges, all that sort of stuff. Now, it's been a thing in pretty much all the Borderlands games, and what it is, is going to DLC early. The DLCs are usually scaled to a higher level, so you can't really go over there and kill stuff, but that's not going to stop you from looting around and getting a lot of good items. The cool thing about this game is you can go to the Nox DLC and finish a few missions without having to kill anything. So first off, when you start a new character and get all the way to Firestone, meet Dr. Zed, and when he gives you the mission for collecting the power for defenders, turn around and go straight to the Nox DLC. DLCs will not be active before that, so make sure you get up to that point in the story. Okay, so you made it to Nox DLC, and this DLC is scaled to level 35. As I mentioned before, nothing's stopping you from exploring around and looting chests and also doing a few missions. As for killing stuff, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So the first thing you wanna do is meet Scooter and pick up his mission. And for this mission, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna be running around T-Bone collecting parts to build a car. One thing I do wanna point out is that one of the parts are gonna be near Volcana Squad. So for those enemies, go ahead and run away and try to avoid them. Now that you have all the parts, go ahead and go back to Scooter and turn it in for XP and start the next mission. Again, a really easy mission, build the car and then turn it in. At this point, that's all you can really do for the missions. So the next thing you want to do is farm around T-Bone Junction. You're about to get a lot of XP. First off, go ahead and head over to the T-Bone Junction bounty board by Claptrap. From here, go ahead and parkour up to the roof. There's two ways you can do it. You can jump up the boxes on the side and then jump over to the roof. Or my preferred method is getting on the mailbox and then jumping to the bounty board. Open the middle locker and you will get a guaranteed item. And of course, open the chest to get all the items in there too. Another thing about this farm that's really cool is you can find legendaries early on too. But if you do find something you like and you might want to use later, go ahead and hang on to it. We'll get to that in a bit. Now for the second chest, you're going to go up the stairs and go all the way to the end. From here, you have to do a little more parkour, jump to this thing, and then you can turn and see a chest on your right side. After grabbing that stuff, go ahead and turn around and jump down. From here, go forward and take your first left, and you will find a few lockers on the side. The middle locker will have loot, so go ahead and open it up and grab whatever's in there. Go ahead and turn around and keep going forward, and then take a left up the stairs. And around the right side, you will find a red chest. Now, during this farm, be sure to open up any containers you see, you know, safes or lockers or whatever, because that will complete challenges if you do so. Take whatever's in the chest and go ahead and save quit. Now, there is one more chest way over here on the other side of the map. I don't recommend grabbing it because it's kind of a long run to get there. I find that it's way faster just to save quit and run that route again. But if you happen to be up here, just fall down the side here on the boat and you will find another red chest. Alright, so now you have all these items you're not going to be using anytime soon. Go to the vendor and sell off anything you don't want. And rinse and repeat. So keep doing this farm over and over until you have a lot of money. And then sell off the items you don't want. Here's the really cool thing. Since Nox DLC is scaled to 35, the vendors sell high tiered SDUs for your weapons. Since you are set on money right now, just go ahead and buy all of them. You can see here, I go from 3 grenades to 8 grenades. No pistol ammo to all the pistol ammo. Now, these are actually the second highest SDUs in the game. I do recommend buying them all now so you don't have to worry about ammo later on. I do want to mention too that the rocket SDU is a little bit odd. Before you buy the SDU for rocket launchers, make sure you have at least one rocket ammo. If you have zero ammo when you buy it, it will cost money and not give you the upgrade. If you're looking to get a little more XP, you can do one more glitch here. To do it, grab a car and head all the way up to Zed's area. What you're going to do from here is drive off the edge and as you're falling, change your seat. For whatever reason, that's going to allow you to bypass the death barrier and you will complete some challenges for being in the air with the car. Also, you can explore out here, you can kind of run around and see some cool stuff. But be wary, if you head under the town, you will find a bunch of death walls over there. Alright, so you've been looting around and getting a lot of XP from challenges, and you're good on money now. So let's head over to the Underdom DLC. The Underdom offers a bank in which you can put your items in there and grab them later. Any items you want to keep for later, go ahead and throw those in there. Once you get over here, you can farm the vendor for really good early game items. We're talking about sniper rifles, good grenades, transfusions, rocket launchers, good shields, all kinds of stuff. Sadly, class mods don't show up until later, so we can't really get those yet, but just go ahead and save quit and keep farming the vendors until you're satisfied. Now, you can go to zombie DLC and complete the first mission, but I don't recommend it because you really don't get that much XP for it. As for the Revolution DLC, you can also do the first mission over there too, but it really isn't worth it for the XP. One thing I forgot to mention is you can go to the Nox DLC and buy health kits over there. These health kits are high tier, so you can heal really fast early game with them. From here, you can go back to the base game and easily complete the first few areas. Now that we're heavily overleveled and good on gear, it'll be a breeze. That's it for the video, so go ahead and try it out for yourself. Get easy money, easy XP, SDUs early, legendaries, all that good stuff. And let me know how it works for you guys. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah, peace out.